Hey guys, um, Zach here. Um, it is just after 4 o'clock in the morning. In fact, to be exact, ugh, it is quarter after 4. Um, and I'm trying to be quiet so I don't wake anyone else up. But I'm going to be heading out to uh, Nintendo NYC today. Um, it's going to be lots of fun. I'm going to be meeting up with my friend Rail Mango. So definitely stay tuned for that. Yeah, enough of my blabbering, I just wanted to do this little intro part to this video, let's get started. Hey guys, sorry for the poor lighting, that's why I'm aiming my flash light at myself, um, but I am en route to pick up my friend Rail Mango, aka the moderator of my Discord. Um, I am very excited. Um, because he's never played a Luigi's Mansion game before, so, uh, it'll be an interesting experience for him, as well as myself, because obviously, I haven't played Luigi's Mansion 3 yet. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure that the demo has you facing up against the, uh, the King Portrait Ghost. And I'm gonna keep calling them the Portrait Ghost. I know they're not Portrait Ghosts, but I'm gonna keep calling them that, because, to me, that's what they are. Um, but, yeah, we'll be meeting up with him in probably about... Uh, a little more than half an hour, give or take. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you there. Gotta love New York City, guys. <laughs> like, this is, like, this isn't obviously, like, Manhattan, New York City. This is Queens. But, like, it's so trash, but it's home. So I freaking love it. Hey, guys. I'm here with Rail Mango. I'm cold. It's fucking cold out here. And uh, we are waiting. Right now it's. What time is it? 647. 6.47. We got 15, 13 minutes until. Two hours. Until we have to wait two hours for um, for Nintendo's uh, thingy, Mabob, or doodad. Um, and I'm excited. Um, as you guys as in the Discord probably know, Rail Mango has never played. Did I hate you? Yes, you did, asshole. You, he's never played a Luigi's Mansion game. So how do you feel? I feel like I'm cool. He feels like a cool kid. And so do I. I'm very excited. Can and play um, a game that's not out yet that you guys can't play? Uh, um, I do have a feeling. I have that rough feeling that we're not going to be able to film inside. So. I, I don't think so. In case we can't, I'll, um... I'll do a video after we play. I'll probably do another vlog like, while we're waiting in line to show you guys how long the line is, if it gets long, whatever. Um, but, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm going to do my own thoughts of the game, like, in a separate part um, of this video, like, way at the end. But, I'll get, why did the camera turn off? Oh, no, I don't think it did, never mind. Um, but I'll get this loser's thoughts. Stupid. He's stupid. I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. I can tell you right now. It's Fox News. For Wait, you're filming Fox News. <laughs> hey, it's Fox Inception. <laughs> Look, oh, they're moving the camera. They must be doing some filming out there. They've got the camera on the thing. In case you ever wondered how that works, how cameras move so freely, that's they have a big arm. I don't think people are as stupid as you. Well, okay, actually, that, uh, that was a little toxic. Sorry. Yeah. How do you feel now that you that you're an asshole? The same. All right, guys. I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'll see you guys near the time. Oh, of course, right as it ends. Damn it, Zach. Alright, you guys, so right now we're... Where'd you go? Oh. On the other side. <laughs> right now, we are waiting in line at Nintendo. Well, yeah, oh, there's... Oh, that's Luigi's Mansion 2, the uh, not-so-great one. Not the not-so-great one, the one I don't like. Oh, see, see how quick they went through that? Yeah, they know it's not great. Hey, man, I like that game. You never played it. You know, fun fact, they had an interview with the, uh, like, developers, like, for, during the Nintendo Treehouse. And the developers actually, like, because you know how Nintendo never listens to anyone? The developers said, we look at forums and we responded to the criticism. So we did every, like, we made sure not to do the thing that you guys didn't want. And I was like, you know, for, like, a Nintendo game to do that, like, that's rare. And that was actually really cool. And I'm very happy about that. Well, you're going to experience it within, what, an hour? Hour 20? An hour, yeah. Because right now, it's, uh, I think a little bit before 8 o'clock, like, quarter to 8. And the line's pretty small, so it's, like, 7.36. Nice, uh, nice background. Um, there's Splatoon. Oh, that's Smash Brothers, never mind. I don't know what my background is. I don't. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, well, we'll probably vlog a little closer to the time, and, uh, I am very, very excited. 
Hey guys, we're about to go in in just a couple minutes. We are playing some Town of Salem. Oh, should I need to vote for someone? Oh yeah. Everyone's voting against you. What? Wait, and me. What? Help me push the lock on. Help me push it back in. I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, we're playing some... <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. They're gonna kill me now. Wait, you're the, you're the bad guy. Though. Oh yeah, I am. Alright guys, I think we're going to end this. Hopefully we we'll get filled inside, but I'll let you know. Um, but either way, we're heading in a couple minutes, and I'm pretty... I'm not sus! Mr. Fiddle sus. I'm not sus. I haven't, I haven't done anything. Oh, yeah, I'm Mr. Fiddle, the sheriff. by the way. If the sheriff says you're sus, you're not. Oh yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared. But I'll go with the sheriff and say you're sus. Remember how many times you betrayed me? Yeah, when I was always a survivor. So, uh, would you be up to doing more uh, Town of Salem uh, Let's Plays? Whenever I get good internet? Do mobile. That would be interesting. Yeah, because I, I can play in Ithaca, yeah. But I wouldn't be able to capture gameplay, though. Oh, well. We should still play some time. Yeah, we'll definitely play. Fiddle roll. Oh, shit! Do you know his name? Link. Okay, good. <laughs> Zelda. I told you, I'm not that stupid. All the Legend of Zelda stuff. Oh, I didn't even know they had. Oh, oh, it's backwards. Oh, it's like a manga Japanese thing. Buy yourself some of these. No, I hope that they make. They put like Luigi's Mansion stuff in here when that's. Oh, look, it's the Master Sword. Gotta get it from the other view. Really cool. Animal Crossing. We got Mr. Rossetti, Tom Nook. Is this KK Slider? I think. Yeah, KK Slider. Got that right. Um, oh no, I don't know the rest of these. There's Kirby stuff. It's a shame you could finish that boss fight like the actual pool. Yeah, I probably could have, unless like, I don't know, maybe they didn't, they wouldn't have let me, uh, think about, oh, there's like, there's some Splatoon Inklings and such. Pokemans. There's Mario on a flagpole. In the world. It's the Pikachu of Liberty. Pikachu of Liberty, man. They got no Cyndaquil. There's how you look at it, he's making a meme face. Pokemon. Or Pikachu. I, I, call, I call Pikachu Pokemon. I'm a fake gamer. Yikes. I'm a fake gamer. Yeah. Back I'm carrying you in that demo. Yeah, yeah, when I gave you the controller. Yeah, you saw how I, I looked the other way when I was supposed <laughs> to be facing the boss. Yeah, uh, the, the game has Dark Moon controls, which is kind of, kind of hard. Hopefully they kind of fix that a little bit. Look at all these consoles, man. Alright, Dawid, since you were the non-Nintendo guy, which ones of these have you played? Okay, you played a GameCube, that's a start. Play the Wii U. Play the Switch. Come on. And that's it. You've never played a Wii. Okay, I played. I'm about to say, I, I, I was I, like, I, if you never played a Wii, I don't even know what to tell I, you. I completely this. I played Black Ops One on the Wii, played one in the chamber, and I knifed everybody. Dude, Black Ops One on the Wii is like, it's so bad that it's good. Exactly. You've never played N64? Nope. Wow, you missed out. You really missed out. I want to play Rob though. There's a little peek at Luigi's Mansion Three for you guys, by the way. That's as much as I'll be able to get. <laughs> wow. Exposed. Exposed. <laughs> Dr. Big <laughs> My dude. Burb. Hold on, I gotta catch a Pokemon. Give me a second. Did you get him? Yeah. How am I gonna catch him? You call him. What do we call him? We gotta give him like a mean name since we have Dr. Big Head, you got Burb, and... Um... Let's call him Zack Pack. Do it! Zack Pack YT. <laughs> Zack Pack. And then whoever comes in and plays this demo... Yeah. What a way to advertise. Right? There you go, everyone. Come and play this 3D, or this 2DS XL, and this oh, part, yeah, and then there you go. What? Black Pack YT is man. It's man. I've always, I've always wanted. Welcome to my party. I've always wanted to be Rattata. You look like him. All right. I'm not one. impressed. <sighs> look at that. Look at that. Good game. Good game. Mad game. Good game. Good game. And game. Good game. Get out of here, son. Nah, 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 nah. Get out of here, son. Nah, 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 nah. Get out of here, son. Nah, get. 
many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Dawid, you're sucking against the level three. Come on. Done. You made me quit. <laughs> you made me fun of you. Oh my god. Top quality game that one is. The artwork's a bit messed up on that one, but... It's back! On a 3DS, not the Switch. That, ooh, that angers me beyond I'm everything. Angry, I'm still angry about that. Wasn't this, like, a popular thing? Like oh yeah, like, Amiibos were, were a huge craze. Yeah, now they've kind of died out, but... I mean, people still buy them, so... Oh, wait, Zach, for you. Yeah, this is for me, this is for you. <laughs> yeah, haha. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Oh, oh, these are the ones that have the D pads on them because, like, all most Joy Cons have. They, um, they don't. They have uh, that. Um, I love the design of that. Like, just in general, that looks. Uh, yeah. so fire roll. That's Spanish for very fire. Yeah, that's what it means. Isn't fire fuego? And I didn't take Spanish, okay. and you did. I took Chinese. And I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm in Chinese. I got on recording, so obviously. So we got some McDonald's. Real mango. And um, today was a pretty good day when it comes to the whole Nintendo thing. Um, in a separate video, we did a little bit of adventuring into Microsoft's in the store. And that's going to be in its own little separate video. Um, uh, yeah, so that's basically it when it comes to all my clips with Rail Mango. Uh, say goodbye, Rail Mango. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in a little bit at home, and I'll tell you guys what I thought of the uh, demo. All right, guys. So that is it for today's vlog adventure. Um, but before we go, obviously, I got to tell you about how Luigi's Mansion Three was. Um, I'm going to tell you what I loved first, what I liked second, and what I didn't really like third. First of all, I love the fact that they, it, you really could explore. Like, the, the, lib, the small, like, you know, like, the small bit they had me play had, I think, two hidden sections that led to hidden rooms, and one of which contained a speedy spirit. And honestly, guys, that felt so much like Luigi's Mansion 1 that I was really, really pleased um, that uh, that was there. Um, another thing I loved is the slam ability. The slam ability, um, being able to toss the ghost around and slam them on the ground. It was very, very satisfying. Um, and I definitely thought that was a much improved thing rather than filling up the meter and then it just like depleting and taking off 50 HP, you know, whatever. Um, another thing I loved was, uh, the, uh, just the vibe of the game, the atmosphere, even though it had that cartoony tone, every single room that I went into was moderately dark, um, and had some genuine kind of atmosphere to it. Um, for those of you who've watched people's demos from, uh, from E3, aka, like, Game Explain and stuff like that, um, that's what I played, where the, the medieval section, the portrait ghost, speaking of which... The boss fight was amazing. There's one little flaw about it, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but overall, the boss fight was really good. I like how it worked out. I like how it played. It felt very much like... Excuse me. It, uh, it felt very much like the original Luigi's Mansion in that sense. It, the, the boss fight felt like it belonged in the original Luigi's Mansion, and I loved that. What I liked... Surprisingly, I liked Gooigi more than I thought I would. I initially was not sure of him in the reveal trailer, but after playing with him and his unique gimmicks, I liked him quite a bit. It, uh, it uh, really made you start thinking, like, you know, kind of like puzzle type stuff. And, excuse me, and I really, really liked it. It was really, really cool. Um, just combat with the ghost in general, um, I, I really liked because there's multiple ways you can go about it. You can shoot the plunger to disarm them or, you know, that kind of stuff, and I really liked that. That was really, really good. Um, yeah, I guess the one complaint I have is the controls. The controls were very similar to Dark Moon in that when, when you're charging up your, uh, your strobe bulb and, like, you know, let's say the ghost that you're aiming at moves somewhere, 
I think maybe with the exception of the motion controls, you can't turn. So, it limits your movement to up and down, which I think is a major oversight. It made the portrait, go portrait ghost battle in particular very hard. And um, it's unfortunate because other than that, the, that was the only thing that bothered me, the controls. Everything else was like nearly perfect. They had the vibe. They got the portrait ghost. The boss fight was really cool. The exploration that they allowed. It, it was perfect. But the controls are the one thing, the one thing that brought it down for me a little bit. But, even with that aside, it is something I can get used to if they keep that controls. But I did actually email Next Level Games and tell them, I told them, I was like, listen, these controls aren't great. They need to be improved. Um, but, we'll see what happens. Um, but I guess the only other complaint maybe is, I think I've mentioned this before loads of times, but I only fought the blue ghosts. There was no red ghosts, there was no gold ghosts, besides the speedy spear, there's no, like, the, not the skinny ones. Um, so, a bit more variety in the common ghosts would also be nice. But other than that, it was really, really fun, it was really, really great. Very happy I got to play it. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.